Okay, Craig Shoemaker was my very first guest in the Comedy Corner years ago. He was hilarious then, and he's even more hilarious now. Please welcome back Craig Shoemaker. <laughs> my very first boyfriend. How are you, Craig? So great to see you. Great to I see you, too. I hate to start with a depressing topic because it's a Comedy Corner, but I'm sure it, you have something to say about it because your, your dad left when you were a child, am I right? Oh, when thanks were... for bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> What are you, my therapist? Yeah, so what was it like growing well, up with I, I mean, it feels very comfortable to be on your show because I grew up with all females. My, my first shave was just something called an Epilady. Do you remember that thing? Oh, yeah, the Epilady. We had all the feminine products. Tampex, Cotex, Maxi Pads, Mini Pads. Our house was extra absorbent. <laughs> <laughs> there was no humidity in the Shoemaker home. <laughs> I spilled a glass of water, never hit the floor. Whoop, gone. <laughs> really? That was good. That was very good. But I didn't have a dad, and yeah, I actually no used, to, uh, I used to write letters to Paul Lynn to try to fix him up with my mother. <laughs> Remember Paul Lynn? Paul Lynn, he was gay. Just, well, I didn't know. Paul. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was seven years old for God's sakes. Uh, yeah, I read an article. He was single, and, and you know, I yeah. didn't know why he was single. Oh, yeah, you know? he was single. I, I, I thought he was happy. <laughs> <laughs> One time on the show, one time on the show, they asked him, "We go, how many balls on a billiard table?" He goes, "How many guys are playing?" <laughs> Shit in he was hilarious. I didn't know. You didn't know. You had no clue. <laughs> I actually thought we were going to be the first father and son team on the Hollywood Squares. Yeah. That was my dream in life, and Whoopi got me on the show, but I never was able to share a square with my dad. Uh, you know, <laughs> I like Craig and Paul Lynn for the win, please. <laughs> you I take it, son. It's all yours, Dad. <laughs> But here I am with all females, and I'm very used to but this. But you now have um, I got boys. two sons, yeah. Yes. So and now what about that? It's a nightmare because I don't, know how, I don't know how to do any of the video games. You know, I played tag. You got a hand, you tag. <laughs> and they have no patience. They would play hide and go seek. I go, ready or not, here I come. My son goes, here I am. <laughs> he's, he's hiding behind a wire. How'd you find me, Dad? <laughs> and now we're doing these video games. I'm doing rock band. Have you ever seen this rock band? No. It's, it's like whack-a-mole with sticks, and I'm like trying to keep up. Up, green, red, green, red. I'm like, come on, Dad, they're gonna fire you from the band. I go, I know! <laughs> they're booing me in my own home! I bought this game. That's right, there is no Santa Claus. <laughs> I can't do the foot pedal, and that Wii is a nightmare. You the know, Wii, yeah. Wii, I'm trying to teach them how to bowl. You're supposed to teach your kids. I'm there, Wii, and I got my planting foot. Now I have Wii Knee. I, heard, I have Wii Knee, and I'm trying to imitate my four year old all night long. I'm there with his little arm swing. <laughs> now I have Welbo, and <laughs> he has eight strikes in a row. I'm there. That's a split. That's a good thing. You know, I, I, it's, it's just, I have no idea how to teach. Everything's about equipment now. We're raising kids with equipment now to help them sleep. They have baby Mozart. You ever heard of this thing? Yes. They I've put heard Mozart that. in their cribs, supposed to help them sleep and make them smarter. If things change, when I was a kid in my crib in Philadelphia, I was listening to my great aunt, chain smoking Marlboro Reds, <laughs> singing me a lullaby. That's right. When the bell breaks, <laughs> the cradle will fall. <laughs> there will come Craggy. <laughs> Here, play with my smoke rings. <laughs> Look, the Olympic symbol. <laughs> That's how I rolled. I know, we all had an ad like that. <laughs> and now, and now and we got characters teaching them how to do everything. You know, yeah. we had Captain Kangaroo with the guy who spoke English, simple sentences. <laughs> and now they have characters. I said to my son, you know how to count? He goes, sure I do. One, two, three. <laughs> you can count like me. And that's what we're raising. Now. So this is where you're at, but you also. This is where I, I am. I hear that you're a newlywed again. I'm a newlywed. Uh, yes, again. again. Thanks for reminding me. Well, you me. were married before. By the way, all my shows that are upcoming this year, all proceeds go to my ex-wife. Oh, I just want you to so? know that. <laughs> I'm a benefit guy. What about the wife that you have now? How is she? Well, she's great, uh, but uh, you know, took over just like most women do in a house. You buy a house and they decorate with feng shui. You know what feng shui is? Yeah. Feng shui, ancient Chinese word, which means put your husband's crap in the garage. <laughs> That's a true story. And if the pile of pillows, I feel like she's building a barricade for Les Miserables. I'm like, you know. <laughs> I'm starting my own show. It's called Straight Eye for the Whipped Guy. That's what I'm starting. Up. Good show. That's, a, that's like the show that. I want to see. It's all about women. That's it. The show is about women. I, I grew up with all women, and now I, I'm married, and it's, you it's know. It's a nightmare. It, it's a, <laughs> by the way, she did something really sweet. I was working really hard. This is a true story. I, I come home at night, yeah. and I was doing this movie, like 10 hours a day. She puts a post-it note on the door. Yeah. And a post-it note says, take off all of your clothes, walk in, keep your mouth shut, get on the bed, wait for your surprise. <laughs> I was like, those clothes went down like Dow Jones, baby. <laughs> I go in the bedroom, got the candles going. It's all good. I go back to work the next day, and she calls me up. I said, sweetie, I've been bragging to everybody. She says, you idiot, you left the post-it note on the door. <laughs> and the UPS guy's outside. <laughs> 
I guess you gotta see what Brown could do for you. <laughs> She didn't laugh like you just did. That's funny. That's funny. You know when she laughs at me though, when, and when? all women do this when I hurt myself physically. Oh yeah, they all yeah. You yeah. see, you're all laughing. This is why America's own videos lasted so many years. Every why a guy takes one in the groin, we're all laughing. You know. Yeah. I'll tell you a story how I hurt myself. I was going, we we're going for a family walk, and they're all waiting for me down in the street. I decide I'm going to rollerblade. Yeah, I've been rollerblading since 1994. They've been sitting in a box in the garage. I got the rollerblades, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards. I'm looking good that day. My new Nautica sweat outfit from Costco. I get the pads the eyes, I the helmet on, I come rolling out, and I'm on this big hill, right? Yeah. And they go, don't do it, Daddy. I go, I'm all right, you guys walk, I'm going along. I go, I, I rammed into the wall, on my way down, I grabbed the rose bushes. Oh, I'm down, I'm sprawled on the ground, go, 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 and, go. And, she, and she's trying to hold in her laughter. She's going, aren't you okay? She's like Catherine Hepburn in a windstorm. <laughs> I think you broke your nose. <laughs> Listen, you can catch more of, good, of this funny man, Craig, at Gotham Comedy Club Friday and Saturday night in New York City. And you're all going home with a copy of Craig's DVD, The Love Master.